Basic nail product safety. Information everyone should know. All information provided within this presentation is with the sole intention of informing the public of the potential hazards of using professional nail products without training, practice, or appropriate knowledge. The Healthy Nails Collaborative believes that beautiful nails should be available to all people, but a certain level of knowledge and skills are needed to do nails safely. The nail industry is currently undergoing huge changes and our sole intention is to ensure safety within the nail industry and help as many people have healthy nails as possible. Know your products, acrylic and monomer, the science behind them. Monomer is a simple chemical compound that can be polymerized. In the nail industry, it is the term for nail liquid used when creating acrylic nails. There are different types of monomers and the most commonly used are EMA-based ethyl methacrylate monomers. Polymerization is the chemical reaction that causes liquid monomer molecules to transform into a solid hard polymer when mixed with acrylic powder. Acrylic and monomer nails contain a serious allergen referred to as HEMA and is considered the number one allergen in the nail industry. It can cause severe itchy rashes, reoccurring contact dermatitis, and even a lifelong allergic reaction. UV gel products. While we call UV gel products a gel, you really need to think of them as pre-mixed acrylic and powder and monomer. Think of acrylic and monomer nails as a two-part system where the powder has already been polymerized and a gel product where the monomers and algomers stay in a semi-solid state. It hasn't been fully polymerized. Gels cure with what is called a free radical reaction. A photo inhibitor in the resin reacts with the UV wavelengths emitted by the lamp. Gel nails contain a serious allergen referred to as HEMA and is considered the number one allergen in the nail industry. It can cause severe itchy rashes, reoccurring contact dermatitis, and even a lifelong allergic reaction. Dip powder products. Dip powders, acrylic nails, and UV gels have similar polymers, acrylic powders. Acrylic requires monomers to activate or cure. Gel requires UV wavelengths to cure, and dip powder is activated with resin or glazes. While monomers are not needed for dip nails, they do contain other acrylates and other known allergens, which are skin irritants and can cause severe itchy rashes, reoccurring contact dermatitis, and even a lifelong allergic reaction. Acrylic nails, dip nails, and UV gels all have similar ingredients and all have known allergens. What's an allergen? An allergen is a substance that is capable of causing allergic reactions. It is an antigen and many produce strong immune system responses in some people in a way that the immune system of your body considers allergens as harmful as foreign bodies. The immune system then fights off this apparent threat by causing allergic reactions. The symptoms of an allergy are skin rashes, itching, and the area becomes inflamed, such as contact dermatitis. Allergens can be absorbed by the skin and through your eyes, mouth, and other orifices on your body. Acrylic nails, dip nails, UV gel nails, and any of their counterparts all contain allergens. There are no hypoallergenic nail products, despite any marketing gimmicks. Here are some key points. Nail products are safe when used correctly. Nail products are designed to be used on your nail plate only and should never touch the surrounding skin. Nail products are only safe when used as directed by a reputable trainer or reputable commercial nail company. Nail products can be made safer with good ventilation and PPE. Nail products do not damage your nail plate. Over filing, nail drills, and bad removal techniques damage your nails. Nail products are not healthy. Nail products are safe when used correctly. 
Do not mix nail products with any other substance. Only use dehydrators and primers that go with the brand of the product you are using. Not all products fit together chemically. It is always recommended to stay on brand. The only exception is gel polish base, color, and top coat are oftentimes interchangeable. Nail products are designed to be used on your nail plate only. They should never touch the skin. Let's say that together. Nail products are designed to be used on your nail plate only. They should never touch any skin. If you get nail products on your skin, wipe it off immediately with a cloth or brush with alcohol or acetone. Your nail plate is dead. Every bit of the nail that you can see is made up of dead, keratinized cells. Nail products are perfectly safe when used on a gently prepared nail plate. An overfiled nail plate will allow nail products to enter your system. Nail products must not touch your skin for any length of time. Overexposure to nail products builds over time. However, some people can react immediately. Gloves should be used when handling all nail products without exception, even when you are working on your own hands. Do not flood your cuticle area with UV gels, acrylic and monomer, or dip powder products. Airbrushing nails and stamping with gel polish significantly increases overexposure levels. Not fully curing UV gels will allow the allergens in the gel to seep into your system. Nail products are only safe when used as directed by a reputable trainer or reputable commercial company. The beauty industry has very limited oversight or regulations. It is extremely hard for the public and indeed new nail techs to navigate the current training given from nail product suppliers, retailers, and social media creators. Much of the training offered does not include safety considerations, only information necessary to sell their product or generate views or followers. Many companies, product demonstrators, and training techniques sidestep safety issues in order to make more money or make the product process faster. Literally thousands of small businesses, social media creators, and entrepreneurs have sprung up in recent years selling nail products and teaching techniques by untrained, uneducated, and inexperienced people. Many of the products sold by the startups are inferior products with little or no product investigation or formulation by professionals. Social media is not the best place to learn how to do nails safely. Even many nail art techniques and nail art hacks are downright dangerous on social media. Even some reputable companies teach incorrect technique and shortcuts that are dangerous. If commercial nail product companies and suppliers are not teaching trending techniques, it's a good sign it's not safe. Nail products can be made safer with good ventilation and PPE. Good ventilation and or an N95 mask when doing nails is not only important for nail salon workers and customers, but people who are doing nails at home. Nail products contain allergens that not only affect the skin, but can affect you in other ways when inhaled repeatedly. Chemicals in nail products have been linked to cancer, respiratory issues, fertility issues, and even miscarriages have been reported in busy commercial salons. However, at-home nail enthusiasts must also take precautions. PPE is essential for protecting your eyes, lungs, and skin. Contacts should never be worn when working with nail products. Ingredients in nail products can adhere your contacts directly to your eyeball. UV gel curing lamps. All gel nail products are UV gel products. They all require UV wavelengths to cure. An LED curing lamp is still a UV lamp. The UV wavelength that cures UV gel products are not visible by the naked eye. UV light is best when reflected and not absorbed into unreflective surfaces. If your UV lamp is not reflective, the surfaces inside your lamp will absorb some of the UV light. Not all UV LED lights are created equal. 
the Healthy Nails Collaborative recommends that you use a curing lamp that is between 365 and 405 nanometers, contains at least 30 LED light bulbs, optimum would be the dual wavelength bulbs, is at least 30 watts for professional lamps and at least 48 watts for at-home use lamps, has at least a reflective bottom that ensures your gel products will cure appropriately where you have capped the free edges or where your pinkies and thumbs roll to the side. Here's a tip. Aluminum foil or a mirror can be used as a base underneath your lamp if it doesn't have a reflective base but meets the other criteria. Flash cure lamps do not cure your nails properly. It is the Healthy Nails Collaborative's position that any lamp other than those described on the previous slide do not have the capability to cure your nails fully and you will risk lifelong contact dermatitis, which is caused by overexposure to uncured gel, a possible lifelong allergy to acrylates or polymers, and possibly ruling out some future medical procedures. You also risk overexposure as listed above by acrylic nails or dip products that repeatedly touch your skin. The safety of UV or UV LED lamps offer differing opinions across scientific and medical communities. The Healthy Nails Collaborative urges all users to do their own research and come to their own conclusion about the safety of using UV light. Mr. Doug Shoon offers some good insight into the safety of UV LED manicures. SDS Sheets No professional nail products should be used without first locating the SDS sheet for the product and understanding thoroughly the adverse reactions and dangers of using it. You should simply be able to Google the product to find the SDS sheet. If you cannot find an SDS sheet on Google, contact the manufacturer or the distributor. They are legally obligated to have a copy to share with you. If they are unable to give you a copy of the SDS sheet, it's a very good indication that you're not working with a reputable company and should have concerns over the ingredients and the company's professionalism. SDS sheets are legally required for all products that contain hazardous ingredients in the USA. They contain information about hazardous chemicals in the product, what to do in case of contact with the skin, what to do in case of fire, what to do with an accidental spill, what to do if it gets ingested, all the essential warnings about the ingredients. Final thoughts. Nail products can be used safely. However, acrylic and monomer, dip powder, or UV gel products are all professional products that take skill, training, and experience to apply to the natural nail without any adverse side effects. While professional nail products are available to the public from a wide range of resources, the public must not think that they can apply it to themselves or others without the training and experience and skill necessary to do it without touching the skin. Ensuring they know how to cure the products properly and without mixing brands and chemicals.